In this video we are going to talk about 10 ways to integrate DevOps and security to eliminate security risks. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates before commencing this video. There is the possibility for elements across the tech divide, from IT to owners of products to help each other reach their different aims. They allow for a rapid flow of planned work into production, for example, releasing tens, hundreds, or even thousands of lines of code every day, while preserving world-class stability, dependability, availability, and security by focusing on a single goal. In this world, InfoSec is constantly looking for ways to reduce team friction by developing work methods that allow engineers to be more productive and achieve greater results. Small teams can leverage the combined experience and knowledge of not only InfoSec, but also QA and Ops, to deploy safely, securely, and swiftly into production without relying on other teams. This enables businesses to establish a secure work environment in which small teams can develop, test, and distribute code and value to consumers rapidly, safely, securely, and reliably. This enables businesses to increase developer productivity, facilitate organizational learning, boost employee satisfaction, and compete in the marketplace. One way to consider how this can be done is by building security controls into the working apparatus. This is done at the beginning rather than at the end of the process. This way security can be a prioritized element for all aspects of work. Security before DevOps. In a typical model, a security assessment of applications is conducted later in the software delivery lifecycle. In the practice of continuous deployment and integration, C, CD, late lifecycle tasks, on the other hand, can be significant barriers to the continuous delivery of client value. Patching is favored over rewriting hundreds of lines of code to meet deadlines because all jobs are done by the time a security issue is discovered. If security is seen as a critical component of the process from the beginning, any flaws may be addressed as soon as they are detected. DevSecOps is a concept that combines security and DevOps to ensure that security issues are identified early on. It's defined as the implementation of safe, flexible workflows between development and operations, as well as ongoing analysis and monitoring. By detecting security problems earlier, you may reduce risks and save money and resources. You'll have more time to add value to your customers' products and spend less time and money fixing security vulnerabilities that develop later in the product lifecycle. According to one understanding, DevOps developed from a need to boost developer productivity because there weren't enough ops employees to manage all of the associated deployment work as the number of developers increased. This is the inversion of security engineering number 10. Integrate production telemetry with data security. Internal security procedures are frequently inadequate in detecting breaches fast due to monitoring blind spots or the fact that no one is reviewing important telemetry on a daily basis. To adapt, incorporate security telemetry into the same development, quality assurance, and operations tools. This gives you insight into how well your applications and environments are functioning in a hostile threat environment, where attackers are continually trying to exploit vulnerabilities, get unauthorized access, install backdoors, and conduct fraud. Number 9. Secure your environments. We need to make sure that all of our surroundings are hardened and risk-free. This entails creating automated tests to confirm that all required configuration hardening, database security, key lengths, and other settings have been applied correctly. It also necessitates conducting tests to scan environments for known problems and mapping them out with the help of a security scanner. Number 8. Ensure that the software supply chain is secure. It's not enough to secure our apps, environment, data, and pipelines. We also need to secure our software supply chain, especially given the alarming statistics asterisk about how insecure it is. While it is convenient to employ and rely on commercial and open source components, it is also exceedingly hazardous. When choosing software, it's crucial to look for components or libraries with known flaws and engage with developers to carefully select components that have a history of being rapidly corrected. Number 7. Keep malicious code out of the deployment pipeline. Malicious code can unfortunately be injected into the infrastructures that allow C, CD. Unit tests are a fantastic place to hide code because no one looks at them and they are run every time someone uploads work to the repository. We can, and must, safeguard deployment pipelines by putting in place mechanisms like to keep continuous integration servers from running uncontrolled code, review any modifications submitted to version control. 
instrumenting the repository to detect suspicious API requests in test code. Number 6. Secure your applications. The majority of development testing is focused on ensuring that functionality is correct. Information security, on the other hand, usually has a prioritization related to testing to see what errors there could be. Make these tests part of an automated unit or functional test suite instead of performing them manually, so they may be run continuously throughout the deployment pipeline. Setting rate restrictions for services and graying out submit buttons after they've been pressed are two instances of how design patterns can assist developers in writing code that is less likely to be misused. Number 5. Make security a part of the deployment process. We want to provide quick feedback about potential risks linked with their code to keep InfoSec issues at the forefront of dev and ops minds. Incorporating a security element throughout the system entails an automation process regarding security tests while also simultaneously operating them with other tests that are automated. These tests should be run on every dev or ops code commit, as well as at the beginning of any software project. Number 4. Shared source code repositories and shared services should have preventive security controls. Not only for code, but also for toolchains, deployment pipelines, standards, and security, shared source code repositories are a wonderful method for everyone to locate and reuse the organization's combined expertise security information should include any procedures or approaches for securing applications and settings, such as libraries that have been pre-approved by security to accomplish their specific goals. Security is also kept in mind by adding security artifacts to the version control system that dev and ops utilize on a regular basis. Number 3. Integrate information security into blameless post-mortem methodologies. To avoid a recurrence of the same security incident, consider doing a post-mortem after each one. We entered all security issues into JIRA, which all engineers use on a regular basis, and they were either P1 or P2 indicating they had to be fixed immediately or by the end of the week, even if the issue was solely internal, says Nick Galbraith, who led information security at Etsy for many years. Number 2. Ensure that security work is tracked in our development and operations work management systems. The effort put into information security should be as visible as the rest of the value stream. This can be accomplished by tracking it on a regular basis in the same work tracking system used by development and operations, allowing it to be prioritized alongside other tasks. Number 1. Integrate security demonstrations into development iteration demos. It is reasonable to incorporate InfoSec to participate in product demonstrations. This can be done when completing development at each stage to avoid becoming an impediment at the end of the project. This allows everyone to understand how the team's purpose relate to company goals, how they're implemented throughout the development process, and provide feedback on what needs to be done to fulfill security and compliance standards while there's still time to make changes. Conclusion Integrating security into DevOps can aid in the early detection and remediation of code vulnerabilities and operational issues, resulting in a more productive DevOps environment. By incorporating security into every step of the DevOps lifecycle, you can ensure that the application development process is secure. It reduces the risk of a data breach and allows for the creation of cutting-edge technologies to satisfy customer business needs. If you want to include security in your DevOps pipelines, use tools and methods that bring together development, operations, and security teams in a single, intelligent DevOps strategy known as DevSecOps. What do you think of our video? Please share your thoughts in the section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.